Hey YouTube, opinionative reviewer here, and I have a nice little video for you. Most of you probably already seen this before, but I think it will. I'm still do a video on it, and this is an interesting tool called Open IPSW. Uh, I think it used to be IPSW Downloader, and now they changed the name. They fixed it up a little bit, and it's a lot nicer. I was gonna do a video on the first one, but I didn't because when I when I downloaded uh, IPSW with it, it only worked in Red Snow and not Snow Breeze, so that's why I didn't do a video on it. But this one works with both of them, and I'm gonna do a video on it. So I already downloaded mine right here, and I'll show you. And all you got to do is download it from the same website. It's simple to use. It. No learning curve needed. So I already downloaded mine right here. This is the install, the setup file, and this is my shortcut to it. And this is an interesting, interesting thing. So I, I jailbroke my iPhone, my iPod Touch 4G this morning with it on 4.3.3. And as you can see, it, when you, when you, pick what device and IPS firmware you want it all it lets you know if you can jailbreak it it says yes and it tells you the tool which is red snow RC 15 it lets you know if you can unlock or not well, that's why those are X because obviously it's an iPod touch let me click uh, iPhone 3GS and you'll see what it says and as you can see yeah it, it lets you know that you can unlock if you update to this baseband and it tells you what red snow it tells you the size and it tells you if it, the SH, SH blobs are available for it, and it lets you know the baseband. So this thing is super cool. It's it's fast. It's just as fast as the website, and I think it will. It's so convenient. I mean, the website wasn't that hard. Going to the website to download isn't that hard, but still, I still like the concept of this. And I, when I jailbreak my iPod Touch this morning, this is what I used to download my IPSW firmware, and it worked with Snowbreeze. Don't mind, it says Red Snow. It does work with Snowbreeze. I already tested. So all you got to do is pick what device you, you own, pick your firmware, and you click download, and that's it. It just down, you, you download, and you pick, pick where you want to put it. I'll just put it on my desktop, and you click save, and that's it. As you can see, it started download. So this is a, a super cool tool. I already downloaded, so I'm going to just cancel. This is a super cool tool. I totally think it's an awesome concept, and you guys can go check it out. It's free. On this website, I'll post everything down in the description down below, and you can go check it out. And you can also see you can follow the developer here on Twitter. So yeah, tell me, guys, tell me what you think. Rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.